Hey guys, welcome back to the life of Kalit. Come closer. You're gonna have to let him come closer. Come closer. Baby, come dance with me. Give me that and give me that. Give me that. Bring that body to me. You are my remedy. You are my remedy. Baby, go come closer. Come closer. I like it when you bend over. Come closer. That body like a Range Rover. It feels good to be back, baby. You know, I'm so excited. Um, yeah, it's been a while. It's been a while. So I'm kind of crusty and rusty, but we gonna do this. We gonna do this. But anyways, guys. So today we're gonna be doing uh, my catch up Q and A, the one that I posted on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, please go follow me so you can engage in this kind of stuff. So, but then I'm gonna do this in a very unconventional way. Um, basically what i'm gonna do is that i'm going to the mall we're gonna run a few errands you know and yeah so i'm gonna take you guys along with me so it's like a mini vlog but during the vlog i'm answering those questions you know get ready with me type vibe and yeah so that's basically what's gonna be happening let's go get ready so let me start off by explaining where i've been where have i been i've been around hey i've been around <laughs> I've been around, it's just that um, I kind of fell short of consistency when coming to doing this YouTube thing because, you know, editing takes a lot of work. I really underestimated um, editing, like the job that editing comes with. And also because it was 2020 and then we eventually went back to school and everything was just like online. So, yeah, I mean, I feel like that kind of just fell short of that. But I'm like... I'm back, baby. <laughs> I'm back. I'm back, and I hope I'm back for good. I hope I'm back for good. And like, yeah, this year, ever since this year started, you know, I also made like myself a bucket list. So I've been documenting stuff as I, I do that on the bucket list. So I've been enjoying that. So that's how I was like, you know what? Maybe it's time I go back to YouTube because I really do enjoy doing these kind of things. You know, so I was just like, you know what? Let me just go back to YouTube. Um, yeah, so Zobana Pambi type vibe. So, yeah, we're doing this. So, I just finished showering, and for my face, I'm just gone. So going back to my first love. And this is one of the things that I have to buy because it's pelly I'm basically literally just forcing things right now because. I'm about to dab it on my face because okay, see that worked because I don't know, and also my day cream penny is and then for my face for sunscreen. I use the Eucerin SPF 50 oil control. Anyways, let's go get dressed. So that we can go buy stuff so i can do a full on skincare routine thing in my jiggy you know what i'm saying and yo my selfie is shit. but yeah anyway so we're about to leave now um like you know looking cute nothing serious nothing hectic so yeah just a quick update but we're still here so last time i was here i was 19 turning 20 now i am 22 turning 23 Jeez. so yeah guys i'm currently at nelson mandela square in Santon. so <laughs> Uh, I don't want you guys to be confused. I am currently in Johannesburg, but I'm not based in Johannesburg. I am, however, based at home. I'm in Zanin full time. I'm just here for like a few days and then I'm gonna go home. So yeah, currently looking for clicks because that's the first order of business. That's the most important part of it all. This is actually where I was coming, was meant to come before I actually went to 
your cotton on your H&M your whatever whatever because like I said the things for my face is what I need oh my goodness the lighting here is great oh yeah and I also changed my screen protector because my selfie had a bubble so it was affecting the quality of my camera you will probably see in the like videos that I'm bones right here and I'm so glad that we have this three for two special I also realized yesterday that I ran out of face wipes for when I was doing makeup so I'm gonna quickly look for Sobe face wipes with the um, what do you call that yeah here yeah, found it with hydro hydrating hyaluronic <laughs> hydrating hyaluronic wipes so I got the wipes um, I'll show you guys everything properly when I get home. I actually forgot what I, what I need. Let me check my list. You know, I always make a list when I come here because oh yes, I need I need those gloves for bathing, for showering. Yeah, actually, in this aisle with toiletry bags and stuff. Okay, here they are. Perfect. Found them. I'm sorry, but. I am a black child for a reason. I will not spend 400 grand on sunscreen. So, you know what? Melanin popping. Melanin will protect me. So now I'm actually just wallowing around the aisles looking for my little sister and my sister. Um, I don't know where they are because my sister wanted some hair stuff. So I'm assuming that way. Let me just quickly give them a call. Hey, baby! What's happening? What's popping? Putting on some socks. Can I make a cotton on? Follow my strat. Follow my strat. Follow my strat. Oh. Check my tie. Check my tie. Check my tie. I'm sick of the Asian ambulance. I don't know. Anyway, so guys, I'm back home. Um. I'm gonna show you guys what I got and then we can do the QA because guys I actually underestimated the amount of work vlogging takes. Like I doesn't require you to talk much, just show around and move. Because if you wanna talk, you're not gonna do anything. But uh, anyways, so we went to H and M and my little sister and I got these cute cell phone pouches. This is mine, this is hers. Um, and then I also did go to Kate. Got my wipes since my wipes finished uh, the other day. When well, not the other day, yesterday when I was doing my makeup. And then I got my babies. Got my babies. Uh, so I did get the booster. No, this is the vitamin day cream. And then this is the serum. And then there was that three for two thingy. So I didn't know what to get. So I ended up getting this dark spot corrector which is something that i always wanted to try because i do have dark spots on my cheek so hopefully that can help and then i also got these exfoliator showering gloves oh yeah i also got a tote bag got a tote bag from typo it's a good day to have a good day oh so cute i actually love the color this life update um it will be just a comparison of the previous videos because I feel like I still stand for that for the same qualities and I'm still the same person. It's just that obviously some things have changed. One thing for sure, when I looked at that video and someone asked me pizza or burgers and I chose pizza, I was just like, what? Girl, I'm a burger girl. Like, give me anything burger. Pizza. And I even saw how I spoke about it. I'm like, pizza, cheese. I was just like... <laughs> how how was how was i a pizza girl i don't understand i don't even know how that changed or maybe i was lying i don't know but yeah i'm definitely a burger girl now and i have more piercings and i'm gonna still get more piercings uh, maybe a nose ring who knows you know like wild wild another question no no it wasn't really a question it's just like an update from the last video is what self-care means to me so personally self-care wasn't much of a big deal for me in 2020 
uh i don't know why but when i answered the question it was more of like eating healthily drinking water da, 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 simple things like that but now self-care for me is being able to you know unplug from everything you know just take some time to myself um taking interest and being serious in my hobbies also exercise i mentioned exercise at that time but that time exercise was just something that i would regularly do and then fall off the wheel because of lack of consistency but now it's like a lifestyle you know i enjoy exercising it's my happy place you know if i miss the gym like i'm feeling guilty 90 percent of the time you know so yeah in terms of eating healthy eh, we're still working on that but drinking water we're cool how is finding me by viola davis okay so this is someone who actively follows me on instagram i once posted that i bought this book finding me by viola davis and to be honest <laughs> i've only read one chapter which is embarrassing because i actually bought the book in the beginning of feb right now it's like the end of march so i had the book for like two months and i've only read through one chapter the reason why i've read through one chapter is because i'm still just finding it very difficult to get a schedule that is like you know fitting for me to explore my hobbies and reading is something that i'm just literally trying as an unplug as an unwind you know as like me time and you know away from social media and all of that so i'm still working around that you know um and i'm hoping that by the end of april i'll be done with the book because it's, it doesn't seem like a very long book and i'm planning on reading at least five books reading and buying five books this year and i stand by that so violet davis is my first book and at this pace it looks like i'll be reading one book per three months what is the one thing you're most proud of okay um currently actively i'm very proud of myself in terms of the consistency that i've been having in terms of gym and also the progress that i've made because exercising and gymming is not something that i just literally started last year or this year it's something that i've been actively doing since like 2019 when i was still in high school grade 11 grade 12 but i always fell short of consistency like there would always be like two two weeks of consistency and then a whole five month break come back and all of that so when i started it wasn't really something new but it was just that thing you know what i'm gonna pull it through i'm gonna hold it together i'm gonna see it through and do this thing you know and also another question here that i'm gonna like just combine it is was that i should share like my my journey and all of that and i think this needs like a separate video because there's a lot of things that I tried, like in terms of dieting, instead of in terms of gymming, and also maybe briefly explain how I started and how it's going and how I got to the point where I'm at. I think I should actually just do a separate video for that. And if you'd like to see that video, just you know comment down below, and you know I will I will make it a point that I make it happen. You know I'll just find a day where I just literally lay everything on the table from when i started last year i think in january until right now yeah what's your take on friendship and relationships well, okay i'm gonna answer the friendship ones because i'm in no position to answer a relationship because apparently the toxic <laughs> But yeah, uh, I value friendship so much. I value friendship so much. Me and my most closest friends, um, we've been friends since high school, you know. And like, we always fight. But the, the fights that we have are always something about something that I just feel could improve the friendship. It's never about boys. It's never about money. It's never about, I don't know, petty ass stuff. It's always something that, comes with improving our friendship so for me friendship is honesty it's not talking every day but it's knowing that regardless of how much you guys talk when you need that person that person will be in your corner like we can literally go not definitely not a week but let's say we talk two times a week that's okay and let's say some weeks where it's very hectic someone's writing exams someone's going through some stuff you know wanting a long time but when something happens, a situation comes along and I'm, I grab the phone and I'm like, hello. And this person is like literally there on the go, on the jump, ready to help. I feel like that's the most important value is knowing that you have a person by your side that is going to support you.
yeah i think that's that would be like a a, a great definition on or my take on friendships the next question is what is your favorite season and why and i'll say spring and autumn because it's not too hot it's not too cold but i really just think south africa has two seasons summer and winter but yeah that's my personal thought okay okay guys so i've reached the end of the, the the video the vlog and all of that thank you for watching till this point um some of the questions that you guys asked like they'll answer themselves as the videos come along like i've literally had a long day it's kind of chilly and stuff so ish i just want to get warm and stuff like when i got back from the mall there was load shedding my phone was battery low so um yeah i'm gonna end this video with a game for you guys to comment down below and subscribe so i'm gonna say i'm gonna give you two truths and a lie so i'm basically gonna say three things of which two are facts and one is a lie you guys must go comment what the lie is okay so okay the first one is i wake up at half past four every day the second one is i've never ridden a bike in my life and then the third one is i am the life of the party so yeah those are the three things that i've said i wake up at half past four every day i've never ridden a bike in my life and i am the life of the party so go and comment the light down below and maybe just maybe in my next video i will say which one was the lie and all of that so once again thank you guys for watching the video don't forget to subscribe like and comment you know press the notification button so you get notified every single time i post i'll see you in my next video thank you guys for watching bye